What's going on guys? Quick report on this uh, latest news where DigiSign, DigiCert, <laughs> DigiSign, DigiCert, which is a certificate authority, has just uh, revoked 50,000 uh, extended validation certificates, right? This is not revoking the actual certificates, right? They are still valid, but they are not no longer extended extended valid they don't have the extended validation uh, which we talked about in this video go check it out so what really happened and and what is going on why 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 all of a sudden digicert will just all of a sudden remove 50,000 extended validation uh, certificates this is what we're going to discuss how about we jump into it so digicert have a service where they issue extended validation and domain validation certs and we talked about that in another video go check it out so this is regarding the extended validation service right so you can have a certificate that is extended that has an extended validation and when you see that you will get the uh, you will get a special flag on your certificate like this dg so you'll get a special flag like this one says issued to right this proves that uh not this certificate not just was validated with it with a simple domain but some background checked have been happening and we know that this certificate is owned by this company or this organization and people pay extra money to do that essentially all right so what happened here is digicert itself does that service but it gives this ability to other certificate authorities that can uh, provide the extended validation themselves however what happened here is during their routine audit process to check that hey okay digicert come on give us your documents what what are the latest um, certificate authorities how many evs have you issued all that stuff they missed a bunch of certificate authority to submit that those certificate authorities were given the uh, the permission to sign extended validation however digicert did not report them and as a result for transparency reason we don't know who who these certificate authorities are right and can we trust them who knows right so as a result DigiCert said had two choices. DigiCert had two options in order to solve this problem. Either literally revoke all intermediate certificates that those certificate authorities that weren't reported because we don't know, we don't trust them, right? Let's just revoke them. And as a result, this will revoke every single certificate that this certificate authority have signed and that could be pretty bad right because that will just if you if you revoke them even the domain validation certificate will be revoked and as a result this will break the internet immediately right S people who thought that they purchased certificates that all of a sudden their certificates will not work because the OCSP uh, the online certificate uh, uh, status protocol when it start kicking in, it's, oh, this certificate is revoked, and you'll get this red error that has been revoked. Let me show it to you, actually. You're going to get this. It says revoked. This is the error you got. So technically, if you look at this, this thing is still valid. It's not expired, right? 2021, but it has been revoked, right? Turns out to be shady, or one of these conditions, or like, we don't know, right? So explicitly the other option is go to each certificate that has been issued by every single certificate authority and just remove the extended validation label right so if you have this beautiful extended label issued too right by the way not everyone has it like in this case this doesn't have it right so this certificate is not extended it doesn't have ev or it's not in ev cert right which is not what doesn't mean bad it just doesn't mean it's not doesn't ha the, the, no one 
have vetted it, except for just a normal domain, which we know that could be, uh, you could carry a D DNS poisoning and, and issue yourself a DNS uh, a, a domain cert certificate. Not that easy, but it happened before. It happened recently, actually. All right, so that's what, hap what ended up happening. I don't want to break the internet and people get bad, uh, get people mad at me. So I just decided to just revoke 50,000. This is opted for a la for the latter approach to minimize disruption to browser users because uh, yeah, it's going to be a, a big disruption. Though apparently it meant revoking 50,000 individual EV certificate instead of just six, six intermediate. That's, those are the six intermediate certificate, which is the six certificate authorities under the DigiCert umbrella. Those were the quote unquote shady ones. Not really shady, but they just, they just, the, the DigiCert were very transparent about this, by the way. They actually says, hey guys, we forgot to give you these six certificate authorities, right? Those certificate authorities, they were issuing extended validation, but we forgot to give you their documents. That's what happened, right? During the uh, the the uh, the regular process, the audit process. All right, guys. So that was like a very interesting thing. Obviously, it's not really a big deal. If, Extended validation, obviously those guys got a refund apparently, or I guess they can just file again, maybe to get the their certificate authority, to, to get their extended validation. It's not disturbing news, but it was just very interesting. And, and I thought just to report it, and that's why I made a vid another video prior to this one, just to talk about extended validation versus domain validation certificate. So make sure to check out that video. All right, guys, that's it for me today. Very quick video. Uh, I'm going to see you in the next one. You guys stay awesome. Goodbye.